Hey what's up YouTube, Steven here and I'm back with Watch Dogs and today we are going to be doing the Open Your World mission. Um, but before we start that I would like to mention a few things. Um, at the end of the last week, uh, not last week, yesterday's video, we, um, we uh, had some issues with the game audio where music would um, overpower me talking. So I have turned down the in-game music volume um, almost all the way. Um, it's like, I, actually, I think I have it down to like 40, so it's only halfway down. Um, and I also disabled it so that music doesn't play when I get into the car. So as you guys will now see when I get in this car here, the music will not play like it normally would. Um, so... That won't be happening anymore when I get in a car. There will be no music in the background. Um, and I've also turned down uh, sound effects just a little bit. Um, so hopefully there will be no more issues with the video audio overpowering my talking. Um, this especially won't be the case in this video because as I was recording this... I forgot to turn on my mic, so I'm actually having to record all this audio after I did the gameplay because the game does not give me the ability to replay um, any missions as of right now. I can obviously now replay missions from um, like the criminal convoys and stuff like that after you beat the game, but I cannot replay um story missions which is a bit disappointing i would have rather been able to just redo the gameplay and have all commentary that goes along with what i'm saying That's but unfortunately place. i can't do that so we're gonna have to do with That's my um unusual um all right, I'm gonna try and shake him commentary over it That's so we in the last video we left off we are supposed to be going to meet bad boy now so we're just gonna head down into the subway here and I, I'm gonna mute myself for the cutscene bad boy what bad boy 17 what the fuck man that is a pretty creepy thing to say Aiden Bad boy 17. Clara. Clara. You don't look 17. Do I look like a bad boy? No, you look like a wild card. I hope I don't frighten you. What, do you have a reason to frighten me? Now you're being paranoid. Am I? Someone is fucking with my life. Threatening my family, and at the same moment, the mysterious bad boy wants to meet me, and he is a she. He is a lie. Listen, I need to trust you, Clara. I wouldn't trust me if I were you. But here's a reason to listen. The text message you sent me? I know where to find him. Yeah, well, we don't need to meet face to face for that. No. We needed a face-to-face -face for this. You want a dead sex system, Max? You got me in. You should be nicer to me. I'm about to open your world. Yeah. Well, you're not the first woman to promise me that. <sighs> they do all their nasty work through this. And they don't know I have access. Well, you stole it. <laughs> this is powerful. Just don't be stupid. You screw around and you get people hurt. Worst. Hmm. Well, I don't think you trust me. Give me a reason to trust you. All right. The guy I sent the text, how do we find him? We work together. You with everything I just sent. Me. Tracking his signal. You're not quite what I expected. And you're exactly as I expected, Aiden. Oh. 
All right, so we just got access to dead sex system hacks. So we also got some new uh, skill points. So I'm going to invest these in more hacking abilities. Um, I'm going to get the um, road spikes because I use those all. I can th those actually come in handy a couple of times. Um, I'm going to stay away from the uh, helicopter disable simply because I've only used it a couple of times. Uh, but I am definitely going to get the steam pipes because those are extremely helpful. And then with my last three points, I'm going to get the ATM hack boost that I was saving up for yesterday. And that's going to be all the points I have for now. So we're going to just continue. Hey, am I talking to Bad Boy or Clara? Let's make it easy. Voila. So we need to track your caller. But he's sneaky. He's bound his address through a CTOS office tower. Client services, employees, and executives, things like that. An office tower? We need to find a way into the system. You get me in, I get you his location. I can get into the building where they're most vulnerable. Check out where they take deliveries. Looks like underground, in the tunnel. I'll start there. Hey, I'm sorry I was rough before. I know what you were doing, trying to intimidate me. Very textbook. Stepping into my personal space, the stare, physical contact. You are trying to look for cracks. So did you find any? When you love to know. So now we have to get into this building in which I'm going to try and do as stealthily as possible um i don't know how well it would would go um there are, there were a few issues i ran into while trying to get into here uh the biggest one being that i don't have any lures or any of the equipment to make lures on me so um I try to make do with what I got, and I'll just let you guys see how that pans out as this continues onwards. Um, I really don't have a whole lot to say, because w the whole time I was doing this I was just basically commentating on what I was doing, but I can barely remember myself what I was doing because it's kind of all off the cuff. Um, I basically just do whatever I possibly can to get in without getting caught and I forget that there's a security guard on the other side of this and I almost get myself caught right off the bat. So now I have to come up with some clever way to get past him. And I try setting off this alarm which normally brings him around to the front but for some reason he just didn't want to move. So instead, I tried seeing if there's a way to distract the guard standing by that other van. Because if I try to take out the guard that's by that's near me, the other one's gonna spot me, and I'm gonna and and there goes the stealth. Um, and here's me trying to build some lures, but I don't have any. Because I would nor normally when this would happen, I'd throw a lure on the side near the front, and he'd come to me, and I'd just take him out that way. But. I just decide to try moving the door a bit to distract him and then I go and take him out but um, it doesn't have the desired effect that I wanted um, so there I am taking him out and I go back to hiding out of view and I open the door back up and as you can see now all the guards are on alert for me so I have to wait for them to go away And I just go around here and I notice that they're going away now for some reason they completely ignore the passed out guy right there in front of them but that's fine so this guy is no problem I could explode his phone but there's no real need to so I just sneak around here and I kind of get caught on this car um, 
and there really isn't a whole lot that I can do at this point because the guard that that is looking right at where I'm hidden doesn't have anything that I can use to distract him like I try setting off this blue car's car alarm that does nothing but distract the guard way back there um, but I did see, notice that the silver car also has a car alarm, and that distracts him just enough to get me behind this protector here. Um, but it's still not enough to move that last final guard away from his door. So I try one last attempt to get him to move. Um, and what I do is I hack this camera here. And I explode this pipe, and that distracts all the guards, but it doesn't move that guard there away from me, and he's going to see me, so I just make a break for it, for the door. And luckily, even though the guard that was by the door caught me, I made it through the door already, and I'm, and it technically doesn't start a firefight or anything. More guards, no doubt. Oh, those hacks I uploaded to your phone? It's perfect distraction. You can disrupt the equipment of any guard in there. Equipment like what? Anything. Hack their phones, earpieces, explosives. Everything runs off computer chips these days. Okay, I'll try it. You scan me the offices? Find me someone with an unsecured laptop. Got one. Bradley Coughlin. Oh, oh no. <laughs> He's a security director. Of course he is. Yeah, of course. Once I hack and you move fast. Track her collar and get out. It won't take long for security to spot the intrusion. Don't worry about me. Right now I'm basically just trying to find the guy with security codes, and I already have found the way around to the box that I need to hack into as I stare at it for a while. Um, really, there isn't anything all that um, interesting that I do here. I just hide behind a soda machine where I know it's safe, where none of the guards will see me while I'm trying to ha break in. Um, and I basically just use the cameras and the guards to get around until I find this guy here with the access codes. And then I just attach myself to this guy's camera again to get to the hack box. Really nothing all that special about it. And I accidentally interrupted that audio log, and unfortunately I won't be able to finish um, uh, playing it, um, but we're now just basically doing the hacking game to get into the security system for Bloom. <laughs> Nothing too special about this, really. Except I fail this second one on my first attempt. Um, so I start solving it backwards. Which I should have done in the first place because it's always a lot easier to do it that way. So now we're in. And we can now hack this guy's laptop. It, it's really ironic that the one person with an unsecure laptop is head of security. Oh shit. Someone's hacked in. Oh fuck me. Lock down the building. Find him now. All right, so now I just have to escape okay, out of here. You Can you track the caller? I'm searching now. Carly, the police are coming. They've got Hydex cans that are hard to shake. You need to get out of there. Cops are scanning me. I can't get clear fast enough. Does DedSec know a way to jam their scans? Wait. I think we do. Here it is. I'm sending it to you. All right, so now we have the jam comms ability, which in my opinion, is one of the most useful things I that in the game. I use them all the time. 99% of the time it's to just get, to just to stop civilians from calling the police on me um, so I don't have to get out of the car. So basically, all that's going to happen from now until the end of the video um, 
is basically I'm just going to finish escaping and then um, I'm going to do one CTOS tower. So I think what I'm going to do is instead of uh, rambling on like I have been for most of this video, I'm just going to put music, uh, my own music in the background and I will be back towards the end of the video. So I'll be back then. I said I wouldn't be back until the end, but I'd like to point out that that should have killed me. I flew from all the way up there, down here, and then I hit this thing. That should have definitely killed me. Um, I don't know why it didn't, but it didn't. So, um, I'll just let the music play again, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't have the original commentary that I had for this video. Um, because unfortunately I'm an idiot and I forgot to activate my microphone. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. Um, if you did, please click that thumbs up button down below just to let me know that you liked what you saw. And if you would like to see more Watch Dogs videos... I post videos every day at 12 p.m. Pacific Time, 3 p.m. Eastern, and 8 p.m. British Time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you would like to see more of my videos, be sure to click the subscribe button down below, or the, if you're on the PC, the annotation in your bottom left-hand corner, and it will automatically take you to the subscribe screen, where if you do subscribe, um, you will be notified whenever I post a video. 
So thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.